today we are going to discuss about few more design essentials that are required for designing your application and uh, this is dr sirisha associate professor from csc department mlr institute of technology so in this session we are going to discuss about the button that we are going to use so you, we know how to use a button tag uh, so with the syntax how many types of buttons we have so we have a normal simple button where you will get a text and borderless button image view text view and edit text so these are the few components and making use of these we can we are trying to develop a sample application which is a count application okay next button so button is where you can the user element uh, can tap on it to perform some action so for getting that button we use a button component so button component you can be used by using the button tag so whenever ever you start it you just a shorthand type closing can be done and here if you see the uh, there are several attributes that you have to give for button tag one is the id so for which the id can be given at at the rate id slash in few versions at the rate plus id in the older versions so button id can be given say b1 will be the id so that this button can be accessed in your java part where b1 dot some uh, set on click listener can be used where b1 is nothing but the id of the button where we are defining in the xml part and activity underscore main dot xml then android colon layout height layout width these two we are giving as wrap content and if you remember in the layouts we have given as match parent so match parent is for what layouts because we use the entire layout for displaying our code our application but button is a small component that we are using in the layout so there is no need of uh, giving a match parent rather than you can use it as a wrap content wrap content means whatever the button size if, if it is b1 so only this much of size can be used for this button then text so that is need to be displayed can be given by using android colon text submit so here there are two things event and listener so event is on click event can be used because button can action can be performed when it is clicked so on click event is used and listener is view dot on click listener okay view dot on click listener is what whenever you give button b1 dot set on click listener set on click listener so what happens it will take the input of this view on click listener and whatever the logic you write here that will be implemented when you are clicking on that button we'll see in the exam button with the icon suppose if you wanted to display the button with the image instead of the text so normally what we'll do we are just giving it as submit or something like this button suppose if you wanted to make some image okay okay something like this so this is a button here so when you wanted to make this as a button then we will go with the button with icon that can be pressed or clicked by the user so for this we have a tag called image button button with icon is just simply a button with the image tag so its name is image button and the, the uh, properties will be most mostly similar width and height id we have to give source here source is one of the mandatory field that is there for image view but in button it won't be there because image view has to access the image from other location so how it will access that using the source tag where will be source source will be under the resources so under resources in the drawable folder we will put our image so that image can be accessed using the source using array drawable slash you just abc is nothing but your image name that can be accessed so what is the event again on click because image is a button here again so on click event so what will be the listener view dot on click listener and borderless button sometimes it has to be like a button it has to act like a button but the border should be hidden so for which you display the button without the borders so you have to give id layout width layout height and the text that need to be displayed on click so whenever you click on this um so it just you are giving this as a send message okay and style this is one attribute that you have to add for the borderless button which is android colon attribute 
the borderless button style means this is one of the styling which is predefined in your android studio within the button property what is the property style property okay so where you can give android attribute slash borderless button style so that you will get the border borderless button image view and coming to the image view it displays the resources that means what bitmap or drawable so there are number of resources we have but we are talking about the image resources so image resources whatever the images you wanted to put so all these images can be kept in the drawable folder drawable resources so for getting the image view we have image view for getting image button we use image button but if you wanted to display the image simply we use this image view layout width height same then source other a drawable my image my image is a name of the image here what is my image it is the name of the image okay these are the methods set image resource set image resource so if you wanted to set any image then you can give it set background resource if you wanted to set any background then you will use this set background resource and text view ed and edit text this we have already seen in so many examples in our previous session for edit text where the user can modify the text which is edit text android id height width then input type input type will be text and then methods here will be char sequence get text get text to, to retrieve the data okay and set text is to set the data to set some input or the data then we use this get and set text this is mostly used when edit text component is used to extract that content to your java part then we use the get text suppose you didn't define any text and the user have not given any input then if you wanted to set something then you can use the set text okay. similarly text view text view and edit text both are similar but text view is where only it displays edit text is where user will enter the text so text view uh, again id is important because there will be number of text views can be used in one application so if you have wanted to give the difference between one text view and the other then you make use of this id t1 t2 t1 will talk about the text view 1 t2 will talk about the text view 2 like that n number of text views can be used layout height and width is common and the text that is need to be displayed because here user is not entering any text already text is defined you are displaying that text okay these are the methods char sequence get text set text set error request focus so what all these See how we have used get text and set text in the edit text in the same way for text view also. If you wanted to set some text, or if you wanted to retrieve the T one means the ID T one what it is given. If you want to extract that, you can use this get text. Set error. Uh, if you wanted to print some error message, uh, then you can make use of set error. Request focus is where when you are printing. I mean when your text is to be displayed, your cursor will be. in the remained in the same position so that is a request focus and this is where we are making use of all the above components or above uh, fields that we have already discussed and we are developing here account application and this is the xml program for which we are giving xml code xml version and encoding utf8 then we are talking about the linear layout uh, because uh, i am using here linear layout as it is a counting application so linear layout starting tag is given here at the end you have to give at the end you have to give your closing tag this is where you are writing the closing tag this is a okay closing tag now these are the applications android this is a namespace and uh, xml and as app for tools also we are giving where these are defined in so and so android.com okay then width and height are given match parent gravity gravity is where how do you align okay it should be at the center layout gravity it is means uh, how your layout should be aligned that is at the center orientation we have given as a vertical padding 20 dp 
because uh, in the layout uh, what will be the size so that we that we are giving as a 20 dp or 20 sp also can be given tools dot constant dot main activity because all these activity underscore main text will be transmitted or will be making use of your java code so that java dot main activity we are giving now what are the components that are required for the count application so the count application is developed in such a way you'll have a layout and within this layout you have a uh, text view and you this is the text view this is button one this is text view okay and you have a button two where this increases the count up and this is decreases the count down so whenever this is increased initially if it is zero whenever you click on this button one as it is has to be increased we are making the zero as one now and whenever you click on this downward button this one will again become zero there's a count up and count down application so for this what is, what is required one button or you oh, sorry two buttons we have then two buttons and one text view okay so for which we have we are writing for one button for the first button and width and height we are giving so here width i have given 300 sp and height i have given wrap content because i don't want to completely use the layout height only part of uh, space i require so i am using wrap content text count up size 30 sp and text color text color by default you have so many predefined uh, color palettes you have and color names you have that can be selected in the android studio so i have selected default color primary dark and id we have given as up okay this is for the first button and what is the other component one text view and again one more button so this is one text view where i have given again width and height text that is need to be displayed is zero initially text size i have given the zero size as 40 dp then id i have given as a tb to recognize it as a text view then this is my button two second button for which again i have given with the height text that is need to be displayed is here now it is count down there it is count up now text size 30 dp text color again i have given the same id i have given down there i have given up okay so these are this is about the xml part means the design part now once your design part is over what we have to do all these components you have to extract in your java part so what how we'll do so package whenever you select the application in that your package will be count app and uh, in that bundle view for button for text view so under view only we have text view so we have to import the view package and button package as we are using buttons text view as we are using text view all together this xml and java should get binded together to give us the output so we are using os dot bundle one time is it it is enough okay public class main activity which is the class name which extends app compact activity app compact activity is a main uh, class where the main activity is getting imported from this app compact activity then what are the three components that we have used button text view so but two buttons so for two buttons i have given c up and c down for text view text and for one for the counter initially counter is zero now what you have to do this on create on uh, super dot on create set content view all this by default you will get these are the methods that are being given by the java part to bind and to save the instances in every state and set content view is to display the content from where from r dot layout dot activity underscore main what is our resource layout under the resources layout under layout activity underscore main what is this activity underscore main this is my xml program okay so from this xml program you are extracting everything from the resources so after extracting what are the components you got one is c up and c down these are the buttons 
so just from if you remember in the xml we have given up tv and down as a ids right so what we'll do in the java part we just give find view by id r dot id dot up means under the resources with the id up you are just extracting find view by id and you are storing where you are storing it into c up similarly down you are storing it into c down similarly find view by the text tv so that also you are storing into text so what all you have see stored two buttons and two and one text view now buttons should be given on click listener right we have discussed in the previous session when we are discussing about all the components so in the button component we have seen what are the event handlers and action listeners so this is a uh, on click listener we are giving set on click listener new it creates a object and view dot on click listener it takes this view dot on click listener has a sub method that is on click method where it views when this button is clicked so when button should be when the button up is clicked that means see up see down just to understand which button we are using i'm writing here and this counter is zero initially now when the see up is clicked for that for clicking we are giving this set on click listener when clicked what should be happen this count should get incremented for which we are giving count plus plus once incremented what it you have to do this will become this part will become what one zero will become one now this one has to be stored right so this one has to be uh, in the text view this is what text view so what is text view text now text dot set set text count and this is concatenated okay and uh, this is for the first button now coming to the second button c down for c down also you have to write some logic right what happens when you create when you are clicking on up incrementing what ha what should happen when you click on down decrement so that decrement we have written here okay very simple application so the output for this will be this one this it will look like this okay let me show you the execution of this so this is a counting application so i am talking about the resources every time so these are the resources drawable layout so we are giving r dot layout dot uh, r dot id dot like that right so this is about r dot layout dot activity underscore main dot xml now this xml is talking about your this xml okay so if you see here whatever uh, linear layout and the properties and one two buttons this is first button this is the second button and one text view the same code i have uh, dumped here with the following uh, attributes okay then this xml part is stored where in your resources layout activity underscore main dot xml now if you wanted to do click some click on something what happens okay this if you see here this is the java part this is my package name your packages c up c down text view count initialized to zero then these are the instances that we have given on create and all and uh, the buttons by using find view by id you can extract it from xml using this id and you can you can store it into the new variable c up c down and text and these are the action listeners one with the count plus plus the other with the count minus minus now just i have given it api pixel 34 in the previous sessions we have seen how to create an emulator device just select that device and just run it when you are running you could see here uh, the gradle build is running so once this is run okay it will show you uh, the changes okay 
your application is running so this is what the emulator is showing you the output now count up countdown and text view now initially we have initialized with zero click on the button count up the count is getting incremented every time then click on countdown the count is getting decremented so what is the logic that we have given is only increment and decrement operators okay so this is about the count application with making use of different components that we have discussed in this session hope you all understood thank you all